let me read uh, uh, this next one here. If you want to pull it up right there, uh, uh, where it's a complete different story here. I'm curious to know what he's going to say to it and what's your feedback going to be on this one, both of you guys. Uh, page four, where it says a crash of the U.S. housing market is very unlikely, even as mortgage uh, rates surge to 14-year highs. Markets Insider, this is a story from yesterday, pandemic home buying hotspots like Sacramento and San Jose have uh, thrived over the past few years, but as fears of an economic recession spread, they are now most at risk of facing a uh, housing downturn, according to Redfin. If the U.S. does enter a recession, we're unlikely to see a housing market crash like the Great Recession because the factors affecting the economy are different. A uh, senior economist at Redfin said in a housing report, but a recession or even a continued economic downturn that doesn't reach recession levels would impact some local housing markets more than others. Redfin researchers looked at uh, several indicators to rank cities on their chances of a housing market downturn in the case of U.S. recession. The fear in this case is that as the broader economic tightens, some home values may decline, leaving homeowners holding a mortgage far more than the value of their investment, which do you guys agree or disagree with this? (laughs) <laughs> Go ahead. Um, it is a fact that if I don't sell my house and I've got some equity, but on my street the prices are going down, my available equity, if I go to any lending institution, just went down. Mm-hmm. And so um, do I think it's going to be a crash? I don't think it's going to be a crash, but w- we just talked about it already. I think the, the scissor pinch is already coming. And we're, and we're seeing it. We're not speculating on it. We're looking at real data. And so crash, like... Oh, eight, no, but are we about to see these these prices go down? And I, I want to know the, the motivation of the author here. What point are you trying to make? Because there's a conflict in there. Because even if the prices go down a little bit, Pat, the guy with the equity now has less home equity to redo the kitchen and the bathrooms. So you don't have to be in the market to be impacted by a, a diminution of values. I think it, that's totally totally correct. And I, I think, you know, back in 2007 and eight, uh, Chair Fed Bernanke uh, was very public in saying he did not see a problem in housing, even after it started going down, and, and made the note that not since the Great Depression had housing prices on a national basis ever fallen at all, because uh, and it hadn't. Uh, it, the only time it fell nationally was in the Great Depression. So that gave them a lot of comfort that housing was going to perform much, much better than, than what they ever thought. And, uh, and again, that turned out to be a mistake. And, uh, and I think housing should have fallen 10 to 20% nationally. It was about that overvalued, in my opinion. And it went more than twice that because the, uh, they'd, they'd let the liquidity crisis come and they just went into free fall. I don't think that latter risk is here this time. Uh, I, but I do think that prices could easily correct in some of these markets by 10 to 20 percent, maybe a little bit more. Um, uh, but I, I don't think I think the Fed and the government will avoid going into panic mode the way they did last time. And I think they'll make better decisions and, and not cause that hyper uh, fall off. Hopefully you're right. I mean, look, the, the, I do want to talk about rent because a lot of people are also right now going through the rent challenges. So this is from Reason. Uh, Latest inflation numbers show that rent is too damn high. Inflation continues to ravage America's paychecks, and it's increasingly shown up in rising rents. The latest consumer price index by the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows that prices ticked up by another 0.1% for urban consumers in August for an annualized increase of 8.3% for the year. The marginal increase in inflation comes in spite of fuel costs falling uh, 10.3% last month. Increases in the shelter, food, and medical care uh, indexes were the largest of many contributors to the broad-based monthly all-items increase at the, the BLS and the news released today. The latest CPI shows 0.7% increases. And uh, it continues to say spot rents reported by listing companies are growing at even a faster rate. Apartment list reports a 7.2% increase in rental prices so far for the year. That's moderate compared to the 17.6% increase in rents. The company reported in 2021, it's still well above pre-pandemic increases from 3.4% and 2.3% in 18 and 19. Is this going to come back down or is this going to stay steady when it comes down to in regards to rents? Well, rents have, have are rising well, you know, at a, at, at a high level, but they still do not reflect what's gone on in the pricing of overall housing. Now, the rents haven't increased as fast as the price of housing nationally. So you're going to have a catch-up where rents are going to keep going up. 
unless how you know but how if housing prices start to fall off then you'll see a, a moderation in the uh, in the rent you know and the other thing that's going on in our country is that uh, individual homeowners are increasingly getting squeezed out of the markets so more and more of the housing units are getting purchased in bulk by investors and those are then in turn are being rented now that um, and, and that'll be interesting to see what kind of returns that is you know maybe the the guys doing that now are kind of buying at the peak, and it may may not work for them too well uh, for, from that standpoint. But the uh, but as a country, uh, if if we start getting more and more of the units uh, into rental, and fewer and fewer people able to own homes over time, again that ability to amass um, equity and the American dream and all the kind of things that housing has traditionally provided for average income uh, people is is going to go away. And right now, again, affordability of housing is is the worst in uh, in some decades. So it's going to we're going to see immediately that fewer and fewer people can get in and actually afford and to buy houses and all that until until these prices correct somewhat. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.